Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Soapsies. And today we're going to be making a special order for a customer of a candle and some wax tarts. So stay tuned and we will get started. Okay guys, we are back and we're going to get started. What I've got is my scale right here. I have already pre-measured out eight ounces of soy wax and then what we're going to be using are these two compartments for the uh, for the wax melts got two of those and then also a candle tin which is here we have our trusty spatula to mix and wipe with a candle wick for the candle and then we're going to be using the scent stretch relief by Aztec okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started by melting the wax first that should take about 10 minutes and if you hold on we'll go ahead and get that done and then we'll start oh one other thing I did forget was we have our dye chip so what we're gonna do we're going for a blue for a cool color and what I'm gonna do is get the wax up to 100 and between 160 and 170 degrees then we're going to color it let it cool down to about 150 and then we're going to color it and go from there okay hold on and we'll be right back when we get that melted okay guys we are back I have melted the wax I brought it up to 170 degrees and now we're we put the color in it now we're gonna stir it until it uh, cools down to 140 degrees for between 140 and 150 for the fragrant oil and one thing that we do want to do while we're waiting for that to cool down is make sure that you have your warning stickers for your candles when you're making your warrant when you're making those so that we'll just put on the bottom of our tin so it's already ready when we're ready to pour it so we're just going to stir this and let this cool down it may take about five minutes so rather than you stand there or sit there and watch me stir this we're going to pause while it gets cool and we'll come back and scent it and get it ready for the pour all right hold on be right back okay guys we are back and we are ready to scent this so we're going to move this over and put this on the scale turn it on get our scent ready and I'm going to measure this with everything in there just because it's easy make it easier that way so for eight ounces we are putting in I am going to put in half an ounce of the stress relief. So here we go. That didn't take long. Okay, and then we're going to move this out of the way and move this out of our way. Go ahead and stir this. Now when you put your scent in and you stir it, you need to stir for at least one minute. That way, that's to make sure that the fragrance is adhering into the oils. So we're going to stir that. While we're stirring that, I just want you to know that when we're ready, I'll bring these back over here. I like to measure everything. I'm kind of kind of a stickler on measuring things, but 
Here we have our card that's going to go into the wax tart. So basically, I just had that sent on and made into a card. And on the back of it gives the instructions and the warning label. You guys see that? Yeah, so that'll go in there in the package. And on the front of it, I just write in what scent it is and that it's uh, the rest of the information is already there. So that's what I use because I really haven't found a sticker type to go with what I wanted to go with. So until we find a vendor that that will work out for, that's what we're using. So we've been stirring this. Yeah, I'm going to give it another 30 seconds just because I wasn't counting on the time to make sure that we get a full minute in. Okay, and then that way we know that the scent is all the way through it. Color is going to be pretty good. Now one thing about soy wax when you're working with soy wax soy wax does have a tendency to get like a weathered look but that's just the nature of the wax so not to be alarmed because it will um it'll just get a weathered look to it which on some of my tarts that i make i put them in the shape of seashells just so it has that weathered look and it works just fine for that okay so we are ready to pour and going to bring the scale back up can you guys see that okay all right so for the wax tart and we're going to tear it out I like to pour at least two and a half ounces into each mold. Oh, that is a gorgeous blue. Can you guys see that okay? Let me see if I can pour with my left hand so you guys can see. But that is a most gorgeous blue color. Okay. And we'll set that aside. And the next one. And pour that one. There we are. Pull that. And then our candle tin. We do three ounces on the tin. Or until it hits the rim, whichever one comes first. But I think I have it pretty well pegged that it's three ounces on this, which is just enough for that. And now the wicks I put in there, they usually will stand up on their own. What I will do is... Move that out of the way and put this back out so you can see it. But what I do is I'll put an ink pen or a pencil or something to hold it up while it mm -mm 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 -mm. 
while it dries between those two anchors. That way, that's that. And then Okay, and then just because there's a little more wax left on here, and I'm just going to scoop this out of the way while it cools off. But the remaining wax we're going to just put in here, and those will be used for samples that we can either give away or for testing. So let's go ahead and put the remaining remaining oil in to these little hearts And there we are. Now, one of the colors that it's going to show off now, I just wasted a drop here, so it hardened. This is going to be the finished color. Can you see that okay? Mm, the light's not the greatest here. Let's see if I can. There we are. But it's a very beautiful blue, royal blue. But we just let that harden. It usually takes, oh, three or four hours sometimes. And then um, let it cure to make sure that the scent goes all the way through everything. I usually let them cure for three to five days for these items and then that way I know the scent has had time to absorb and cling on to the wax and then it'll be ready and that's for your best enjoyment the scent will be wonderful the throw will be great and you'll have a better product so thank you again for watching guys like comment and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on the next time. Bye for now. Okay, guys. We are back. I popped these in the refrigerator so that you could see how they would come out. And this blue, it's so beautiful. So now with the candle tin, we cut the wick down to about a quarter of an inch. And there we are. I can't believe how beautiful that blue came out. Oh my god. So that's done. Alright. And then that is wax tart. This came out really pretty blue. Gosh. And then this one. And then we're just going to pop these out. And these will just be samples that we can burn and see how they smell. So, there we are. But And there you are. So that is the Stress Relief Wax Tarts and Candles. So, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe in the box below. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.